Last week, we studied several different artists and their sculptures. This week, we are going to make mini sculptures in the style of those artists and then use them in a mini sculpture garden, similar to the Olympic Sculpture Garden in Seattle. The final project may be an actual diorama of the park or you may take pictures of the individual sculptures and present them in a PowerPoint type document. In case you have forgotten, here is a picture of the Olympic Sculpture Garden. The Sculpture Park is somewhat interactive in that people use the walking path, play and picnic in the park-like setting. You can walk among the sculptures, but it's very clear that people are not to touch or climb on the sculptures. My idea for this project is to make our Sculpture Park a bit more interactive in another part of Seattle, a sculptor named C.J. Wrench teamed with Red Bull to create a public sculpture that encourages skateboarders to ride directly on the bright red metal pieces. As we create our mini sculptures, think about how they could be interactive. Could people skate on them? Could they be playscapes that kids climb on or in? Could they be bridges that bike riders go under or over? Maybe they are part of a dog park or maybe they are obstacles in a frisbee golf or miniature golf course. Maybe they are instruments that can be played with a mallet. As we work on this project, I will show you more interactive art. Today, we are going to focus on making a sculpture in the style of Alexander Calder. Remember that you can either save the sculpture to add to a diorama for your final project, or you can take a picture of it to add to a digital version of the final project, such as a PowerPoint. Included in the art lesson on Skyward are several videos about how to make Calder type statues. Some of them require fairly simple supplies such as paper, scissors, and markers. Others may require supplies like wire, cardboard, recycled plastic, or paint. If you are a remote learner, purchasing supplies is not necessary. Think about what supplies you might have at home and what things you might be able to recycle. For example, hangers for wires or recycled bottles or lids for plastic, boxes from cereal or food containers for cardboard. Be sure to ask before you use supplies that are not already in the trash or in the recycle bin.